Hi, and welcome to another ServiceNow video. Today we're going to look at the virtual agent that are actually coming in the London release, which is right around the corner. I have split up it in, in two parts at least, where we in the first part are just going to take a quick look, and then in the second part it's going to be a bit more advanced, where we're going to go build our own conversation or topic as well. For those who doesn't know me, my name is Goran Lundqvist. I work with a lot of stuff within ServiceNow for Fitsu. Everything from technical assignments, architecture, mentoring, best practices, teaching, yeah, you name it. Uh, I have a background of being pretty much everywhere as well, from the service desk to the third line, manager, process owners, and so on. And I started out as a customer for ServiceNow, and then I went over and became a consultant instead. Love to play around with the community, try to do blogs, writes, YouTube videos, and so on. Also, a uh, ServiceNow MVP for the 2017 and 2018. But that's enough for me. Let me continue. So, the first thing we're going to do is look how we can activate it on the virtual, the virtual agent is what you should actually say on your personal dev how to activate the already existing topics or conversations and then we're going to take a look how we can get it to work in your service portal as well. Before we start, just a big thank you to all the donors. I threw up a GoFundMe page for a couple of weeks ago and it took over like a, a week or so for me to reach my goal. So thanks a lot, it means a lot for me as well for me to spend time doing these kind of videos. Uh, the stuff is on the way. I bought one of these, uh, a little bit better mic. Hopefully the sound will be better. Uh, looking forward for the walls that I bought so I can kind of isolate the sounds to get some noise cancelling and so on as well. And some other stuff. Just remember this is my first time I'm using the OBS project software to do the video. So hopefully it's good. For a fun part to say, it's the second video I do about this one, because the first time I had my picture down here the whole time, and something I'm going to show you actually popped up down there, and I didn't realize that until afterwards when I watched the video. So if you see, I'm going to move around my face a little bit just to, to show you what I'm talking about. So first thing is the personal dev. You go to develop site, you log in, that's kind of weird. Let's see what's happening if I just reload it. I'm being kicked out, let's see. Hmm. Okay, I'm back on I guess. So, you go to the manage instance, then you have action, activate plugin, first thing you need to activate is the, the Glide Virtual Agent plugin just to get the, the foundation. Uh, I have already done this stuff because it takes a couple of minutes and so I don't really want you to be sitting here watching at me waiting. The second part is the already existing conversations. This is for the customer service management. Activate that one if you want that. And down here we have the ITSM conversation as well. These are the ones we're going to look at today. So when you have that up and running, we can go to your instance, you hit agent, go into the designer mode. And as you can see, you have the different ITSM parts here and some customer service management. And today we're going to take a look at the one called order an item. Now, if I click on it, you can see it's read only because they're using actually different scopes for these kind of conversations. So let's switch over to that scope, reload the page, <coughs> and now you can see we are in edit mode. So you have a name of the topic, kind of a description, and then what kind of keywords should this topic trigger on and go into that. Then of course you can conditions at different roles, not everyone should be able to get into this topic perhaps, uh, and so on. 
have a little activate button up here so let's act activate it and then we can use this to look at the actual flow let me zoom in a little bit does it look good so basically <coughs> let's just go a, a quick round how it looks like this is actually when it's starting the topic the user has already typed in something like my computer and so on then you get the question what you would like to look for then it does a contextual search and actually do pretty much the same as if you search through the the portal itself then let's scroll down you have to make a decision how many items did we find in the search do we find no items more than one item or only one item if it's more than one we get a carousel so you can go through them and select which one you want if it's only one you have to decide is there an image on that item no or yes if there is put up the picture then the scrolling is a bit weird here if you wonder then <coughs> you will select item it will give you an output to say here is the thing go here to order it would you like to search again yes or no okay goodbye and we're going to look at this when we actually do the real thing as well and uh, it's not as complex as possible but let's hit the portal let's do like this so out of the box there isn't any activated virtual agent as you can see at the moment so the first thing you will do <coughs> and that <coughs> excuse me there are a lot of ways to be able to activate it because it's a widget and i'm going to show you two ways the first way is just to control right click page in designer and <coughs> one thing that you have to remember this portal is in the global scope so we need to go back change back and i think we need to reload this as well there we go so type in agent here is the widget the virtual agent service portal you could basically put it where we want something like that for example and you can see it popped up down here we'll go reload the page and there it is at the bottom right and this is the place where I actually forgot to move my picture so let's do like this and wonder why it isn't there let me reload the page why isn't that popping up in my I'm just looking at my recording screen making sure hmm huh. wonder if has it or let me just test something realize if I'm supposed to redo this or not again so I can see that one but I can't actually see let me show you just sort of fun if you don't see it I'm going to make it easy for you that is how it actually should look like but if I move it you can see it's actually here but you can't see that but this is how the icon should look like let me get into the details about the, the software later on so <coughs> now it's there problem is if I go somewhere else the icon isn't there anymore and the problem is for you guys <laughs> is that you can't see that it isn't there let me just make something easy as you can see it's gone it's not there and of course it's not there because you actually just put it on this page so let's remove it from here And instead, my mouse is messing with me as well. Is it a Sunday mood? Let's go skip that one and this one. 
let's go to the portal and what we can do is actually put it in embed it in another widget so in this case we're going to embed it in the footer and this theme doesn't have a footer default so let's go and let's create a footer first take the sample and since we're going to edit it we need to clone it there we go copy of sample save it if we go to the portal you can now see we have a footer and you can't even see the footer as well let me just see is this the huh it was actually two seconds I need to fix you guys are actually seeing on the screen that is the problem I think there we go now you'll probably see the icon later on as well and I don't really feel to record this three times so we got the footer let's see where it are that's the one now we can go to docs just to show you how you embed it like the search in the London Why embed widget? That there was some really weird search results. Here we go, and sometimes I don't like the search results on the docs. There is now embed widget. And a lot easier way to go to Google. So <coughs> here we go. This is how you do it. You need to know the, the widget ID as well. So let's just copy this one. Let's put it in here. Then we need to find the widget ID. Agent. Here is the widget ID of the widget. Oops, replace that one, update, and now you're going to see the difference between having a fixed footer or not. So here I go back, reload, let me see, ah, see, now you can see the nice little chat icon, I don't need to, to do some snippets, perfect. Now the problem is if I do like this. The footer is up here, shut up and down here, doesn't feel that good. Let's just mark this one, hit save, reload. Now the footer at, is always at the bottom, making this chat icon, icon look a little bit nicer. So whenever, wherever I click in this portal, this icon is always there. So that is pretty much two ways how to add the, the virtual agent. Let's just click on it and let's see how it works. And you can see this is from my, my other, I think I can't, I can't clean it at the moment. So don't think about this one, this is from my last video. So it came up, what are the topics? At the moment we only have one. If you remember, Let's go back here. We have the keyword. So if I type like by computer, you'll see it put up the, the topic. I'll click on that one. And now is the thing that we are inside that conversation or that this topic. So let's go into the flow. First, we're asking for something to search for this is actually that one so I'll s type laptop I want to buy a laptop now it's doing a search in the catalog <coughs> and as you can see we got the carousel with different laptops 
And that means that we did the contextual search. The decision, we had more, more than one item. So now we're here waiting for us to select something. Let's go back here. I'll say, okay, it's the develop or not Mac. I don't want Mac. I'll buy the sales laptop instead. So it put in the picture, it gives me a link and asks me if I want to say search for something else. And that is pretty much what's happened down here. Let's scroll, the set icon, we got the link. Do you want to search again? If I say yes, it actually go up to the start. If I say no, it gives me a goodbye. So, if I type no, I'll say thank you, goodbye, and then I can click on that link to get to the item. Uh, I rather see that it actually do the ordering for me with all the different decisions and choices instead of the user coming here. But that is a pretty more complex topic. Uh, I'm working at the right moment now, so perhaps that will be in a future video in that case. The part two video would actually be uh, one where we build a topic from scratch. Uh, we're going to build one where the user could say their the ticket number, and if the ticket is uh, open, a work in progress or something like that, then the user can close it, or if it's in result, we can actually reopen it. And hopefully that video will come next week. So thank you for watching and have patience with me trying to mess with the, the software to get the video correct. But not least now you can see the icon. So that's about it and let me shut down the video and see you around.